uh, so she's and they're on their way, but their interaction is just wonderful, you know? This is just an example of what a great policing does, right, with our youth. And it's so important, and I was sharing with someone earlier, is that how she's interacting with these youth, you're making an impact of what her officer is, a police officer, uh, because they're gonna carry that as an adult. When they become adults, their experience, what they have as a teenager, that interaction is what they carry and their perspective is. So it's so important, you know, how, how it, uh, people perspect, have that perspective of officers nowadays. But uh, Angel, when we have our national night out, what does she do, right? The Sumba classes, right? She's out there, she does her Sumba class, she goes and gets, gets everybody on board, and you know, she's sweating and bringing up a storm, and everybody jumps in and just, you know, contagious, you know? Uh, when we have backpack, uh, giveaways you know she's the first one bringing them and, and collecting when we have when we were collecting things for the for Puerto Rico when we had uh, the hurricane that hit Puerto Rico so hard we did so many fundraisers for them she was the first one there bringing water uh, bringing supplies she was there helping manage the area where there was a lot of cars and traffic she was just like you know just I got this I'm here to help and you know she's the first one helping them. again that's what community policing is this is just an example of what community police and you know, I just can't say enough uh, to, about Angel, how this, you know, her character, her personality, her interacting, and all the events that we've done since we've been back in Trenton, all the community events, Angel's always been the first one there present. You know, if she's working, she'll come in uniform. If she's not working, she comes anyway. You know, that's what you do, you show up, you know, either way. So, and we totally, totally appreciate that. We really appreciate that. And yeah, I just wanted, um, I'm waiting for Freddie to come back before I hand the award because I, I think it's important for him to be there. I can cut, continue on talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can continue Freddie, talking the about boss is calling yeah. in. Yeah. 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 I gotta run then. <laughs> one, more, one more example, because I was gonna give one more example because you know, while Freddie was MIA, I was, gonna, I, was gonna, I was gonna say how she would sit next to a young person here in our restaurant and just interact and talk to them. So how school has, and then having a conversation like you know, like their buddies, you know, for, and just that interaction, just even if they're even off school hours, and just how she interacts with people and community and how she's loved. But we have a business uh, uh, owner from across the street over here, who's here present, um, again, um, he owns a, owns a liquor store across right, the street. Right there, right there. What did he do earlier, right? He says, I want a picture with her. She's my local <laughs> business. <laughs> That's what protects me during the day. So he's proud of, of her being, you know, her own. You know, that's what business people do because we definitely appreciate that. You know, that's, again, back to community policing. And, you know, we just can't say enough about Angel because we could see you know, be here all day. So thank you so much, Angel. So <laughs> Again, uh, on behalf of Director Perry and the Trenton Police Department, um, folks, this is what it's about. This is what community policing is about. It's been pointed out numerous times. All right, I, I can't thank McDonald's enough and the Rosados for, for hosting this. Um, I can't thank the people that are here from the community enough. And I see a lot of cops here. I see a lot of cops here that are not actually working. And that says something, all right? This is what it's about. And again, on behalf of the Trenton Police Department, thank you very much for, for hosting this and uh, presenting these awards today. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm very humbled to receive this award. Um, everyone knows, you know, I'm from Trenton. I love my community. I love to give back. That's just me. It's no show or anything like that. I just love to give back. I love help, helping people, making people happy, and just enjoying life. Um, again, I'd like to thank the Rosados, Freddie and Rosa, <laughs> for hosting this uh, lovely community event. Um, congratulations to my other half over here, uh, Paulo Santiago, fun fact about us, we did graduate the same year, Trent Central High School, 96, so it's kind of cool that we're actually both getting this award. <laughs> um, and I'd like to thank everyone that made out, my family, my husband, my mother, mother-in-law, my sister, um, TPD 
family, um, all outside other agencies, of course, most definitely uh, Mercer County um, Sheriff's Department, all the business owners, everyone within my grid that know me or just know of me. Um, I appreciate the support that you have given us on this lovely event. And um, in closing, thank you. God bless. <laughs> Today we have uh, Sheriff Jack Hemmer, um, uh, who is present on behalf of the, uh, the Sheriff Department. Uh, we do have uh, our wonderful Pablo Santiago, who was originally in the Trent Police Department and, and now is with the Mercer County Sheriff Department. Um, and we're honoring Pablo because, as many of us already know, and for those who do not know, um, he is in all events, in all activities. You're going to be giving out. Um, you're gonna give out little, you know, coloring books to the kids. I'm there. I'm gonna help you give them out. You know, whatever it is. And and Pablo is the type of person that he gives of himself um, without you no know, axing. And he would just he'll go to somewhere and he has to give the shirt off his back for for the get the He would do that. He gives. He Pablo. He, you see him in all our all of our um, national night out. Um, I saw him on Facebook the other day. He was feeding the home, feeding right the homeless. He was feeding the homeless. I'm gonna get there. Uh, I, 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 he was feeding, feeding the homeless, right? He goes and he's out there and feeding the homeless. You have a Christmas party, which is for a fundraiser for an organization. What does Pablo do? He shows up in a Christmas suit. When I say Christmas, every color of Christmas is on there, and every, every decoration of Christmas is on a matching suit. I mean, and he walks in and make, makes a statement, and you know, obviously, but he's there, and he's the first one bringing something. He's the one that donating. When we had the uh, fundraiser for uh, for Puerto Rico, he as well was there present, bringing stuff, helping out, um, loading up trucks. You know, this is what he was doing. He was always present. If you follow Pablo on Facebook, he puts a lot of silly stuff, yes, but he also puts so much community stuff that he does. And and, and that surpasses a lot of the silliness that he puts in. He has, because he's in, in, involved in anything. If he knows they're honoring somebody, he just shows up and says congratulations. If he knows that they're having a little school event, he shows up and just congratulate the kids. I mean, Pablo is pretty much, in any community event that you think of, Pablo shows up and says, I'm present, I'm here. For the, th for the uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade. <laughs> so if you didn't see him on Facebook, please request him and, and you can see him. <laughs> Pablo made a makeshift, uh, he had it in electrical, like, uh, Chair, wheelchair, electric wheelchair. He customized it with a with a seat on top, and he went through the parade um, in it as a float with a red beard and a leprechaun hat. He looked like a little leprechaun. I'm sorry, not to be salty in your height. <laughs> but it looks so good on him for some reason. But he looks so well. You know, it took first place. Oh my God, really? So that's awesome. But that's what he does. You know, but those. His personality, just, you know, he, he can brighten up a room in two seconds, you know. So he walks in, he interacts. Pablo is the same person that I know when he was maybe, when he was maybe like 10 years old coming into my center travel when I used to own it with his mom, right? Yes, he did. He came with mom, right, when he was a little kid coming in with mom to buy the uh, tickets to travel somewhere. He's the same bubbly person that he was then as he is now. And that says a lot for a person, you know. Those are the type of policing the community person that, and especially as a police officers that we need that makes that great impression for uh, for the department for our community we feel safe when we have that community that relationship with officers like Bob who actually we, we, we communicate them like a friend and not as an officer he doesn't intimidate somebody when he walks in because he has a uniform he, he you feel like he's one of you so you know that and many many more other things Bob I just can't say enough because if there's an event, Pablo's showing up. I'm just telling you right now, you look for him, he will be here. Any future events, activities, community stuff, because that's what he does. He is a community officer. He is there. And if you need him for anything, he'll say, I'll be there, I, I got your back. I'll, you know, for, which is, you know, what you do. You know, and I, we definitely appreciate that. So I wanted to, uh, Jack wanted to say a few words yep. first. So Thank you, Rosa, I, yep. I just like to echo what Rosa and Francis and Steve had said, uh, I think this is uh, very positive for all of our communities, and I think it's something that we have to motivate ourselves to do in other communities. 
And uh, I just got to tell you a little bit about Pablo here. He's, he don't, uh, not, he not only serves the Mercer County Sheriff's Office, but he's the president of their union. So I can tell you what he does for 140 men and women that he represents. Sometimes it's we have we have some tough meetings, but we always at the end of the day we always work this thing out. But I have to thank him for that. I I haven't had a grievance in 10 years, and so that tells you something. Wow. But, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. South Trenton, and I bought, started with Animal Control, then I went over to the Dispatch A Squad, <laughs> then I was a police officer, then I was a little bit of detective, from there I went to the county. From the county, I was on the task force, just came back now to the county. But thank you. And, and the Angel, I, I, on and off the job, anytime we try to do anything together, I tell her, look, we can do it together, we can, if you need help from doing anything, just, I'm speechless. I, 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 thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they always told me, sorry, for we uh, you gotta say yes, dear. Whenever they talk, you can say yes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dear. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for that training. Good job. The Trenton City Council. Um, I was here yesterday uh, meeting with, with Freddie, and I was, sitting, I was sitting over there, and we were talking, and two or three young ladies came in, and they were placing their order, and Officer Turner was sitting here, and the little girl said, I made honor roll. And Officer Turner said, you better have made honor roll. <laughs> and so Freddie and I had a conversation about just that interaction. Mm -hmm. and, and when I saw Officer Turner this morning when I came in, not knowing that she was being honored, um, I mentioned that to her about that exchange and how that exchange is so important in our community. And because we have so many people that say our police are not good police. And we know, and as she said, in every uh, profession, you have good apples and you have bad apples. But it was just good as city council president to be sitting and to hear the exchange between the, the young ladies and Officer Turner. Um, it just, as Freddie and I were talking, I was like, that that's what we need more of. And as I said to her, let's take some of that fairy dust and sprinkle it across our entire city so that all of our officers interact with our young people that way. Because if they interact with our young people, our young people's attitude begins to change to a positive and it translates to their parents when they go home. So this is a great day. This guy right here, I've seen him at every, just about everything that I go to. He's there helping out. But this is a great event that McDonald's and, and Freddie and Rosa puts on for our community. We appreciate you. And as I said earlier, this is a networking event in McDonald's, in Trenton, across from what's going to be our new high school. This is positive for our community. And we need to continue to do this, not just here, but throughout our community. And you have, as, as long as I'm on city council, you guys have my support in law enforcement. You have my support from city council. Thank you very much. Thanks, Patrick.